What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez here back with another video and this one's gonna be a fun one for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna be reading some mean comments on one of my videos that got shared on Facebook and got over 850,000 views. All right guys, so I'm gonna let the haircut play. Like I said, this video was reposted, so this is not my original video from my channel. They took it, they added some music to it, and they put it on Facebook. You guys can see it rolling. The crazy thing about this is on my channel, this video only got 3,800 views, but on this Facebook page, it got over 800,000 views, and that is just right now, it is still going up. When I just got these comments off there, it was almost 100,000 more than when I saw it. But anyway, I'm gonna read you guys some of these comments. They're absolutely hilarious. I definitely got attacked by some Karens that are sitting at home and they're not happy about it. But anyway, let's get to the first comment. They're gonna get better as we go. Steve says, that haircut makes that kid look like something out of a low budget alien movie. I mean, Steve, this is what his parents asked for. What am I supposed to do? People just assume that I did whatever I wanted on this kid and it's not what they came in and asked for. Randy says, the kid looks pissed and he should be. He almost looks like he's gonna cry. This haircut is completely inappropriate for this young man. The stylist completely missed the mark on this one. Again, guys, this is exactly what they asked for, a skin fade, slick back on top. I just think it's crazy that people that have no idea about the situation come in and comment. And the funny thing is, if you guys didn't see the video, the kid that's in the video, for some reason, that's just how he acts every single time he gets his haircut, no matter what the haircut is. I always try to talk to him about different things and get him to talk and get him to smile. And that's what he does the whole haircut. So obviously it's out of context. They don't really know what's going on, but man, these comments are crazy. Michelle says, once again, a barber working harder, not smarter, had to fade in three different lines that I have. That's horrible. I'm a veteran barber. I can tell you right now that barber doesn't know what they're doing. Poor kid, that haircut sucked. His hair prior to the haircut was beautiful. Guys, that was six month quarantine hair. He hadn't had a haircut in six months, absolutely shaggy. Mom was about to go crazy. And again, gave him what they asked for. Pretty much 100% to a T, the picture that they showed him. Now here's where it starts to get funny guys. Not only is this comment from Karen, but if you notice the person that replied to the comment, we're gonna see her again. She was checking every comment on this video and adding her two cents and basically hyping up the people that left the comment. And this is where it really starts to get funny. So Karen says, the kid looked better before the cut, which is obviously absolutely crazy. Like I said, six months without a haircut and he got a finished haircut that I think was pretty good. So Rita chimes in, Karen, all he needed was a shampoo, a slight trim, and a blow dry. This cut was extreme, punishing, too much scalping, totally inappropriate style, and the stylist had a deplorable, unprofessional technique. Please tell me what's unprofessional about my technique. Guys, that's the haircut they asked for. Obviously, I teach these cuts all day, and this is a very advanced haircut. And for most of us, it's very difficult to do. Obviously, these comments are from people that know absolutely nothing about cutting hair. C. Mitchum says, you probably ought to stop posting videos. They have a lot of continuing education classes in your industry. Maybe you should focus on that. Now, does anybody find that funny that I teach on YouTube constantly and I've actually started to travel with 245 and teach classes in person? So again, people comment that don't know anything about what they're talking about. And guys, I'll tell you, thank goodness I've been doing YouTube for a while and I'm used to these mean comments because when I saw the views on this video, I was super excited only to be let down that literally all but one or two comments were mean like this and just ridiculous. I just could not believe the feedback on this video. Next up, Trish says, nah, not impressed. The shape at the end wasn't great. Too flat at the sides. He had grown his hair and that should have been appreciated in the design. I would be furious if you cut my son's hair in such a manner. Never mind the scary process you inflicted on this young boy. Again, guys, the kid hates getting his hair cut. It has nothing to do with me. It didn't matter what we did. He was not gonna look happy during this cut. And it was quarantine hair. He was due for a haircut. It had been six months. They absolutely hated how long his hair was and were so ready to get a haircut. Denise says, this has to be one of the worst hair videos I've ever seen. 
I've never seen anyone waste so much time cutting lines into a high and tight haircut and then have to go back and blend the hair in. All the barbers I know would be appalled at this technique as I am. I'm surprised it turned out as well as it did. Hey, that's kind of a positive comment in there. Plus the kid has such great hair, it broke my heart to see it all shaved down so short. Denise, I apologize, I never meant to break your heart. I'm so sorry. Next up, Brian says, I don't know where these people go to school for their technical how-to, but it's horrible. They have no idea what's up. This particular cut, he unorthodoxy lays in the top and top of sides, then takes a clipper and cuts right into what he wasted five minutes doing. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. A lot of barbers I've seen post their work and they go about things the hardest way possible. Wonder who's teaching and if they have a clue. Funny enough about that guys, in school I definitely wasn't taught this, but these are definitely advanced techniques, so I don't expect a normal person to understand. And uh, again guys, these are totally funny. I just think it's crazy that people go out of their way to write this about a haircut on somebody that they know nothing about and they don't know the situation at all. Next up, Laurel says, hate it, the kid is cute and he had beautiful hair, that cut was too severe. And here we go guys, here's Rita again, coming back for more. Laurel, I agree, I thought it was a terrible cut. I only watched because I was so horrified. The technique and choice of style for this young man was putrid. Does nobody think for a second that the mom told me what she wanted us to do? Do these people think I just do whatever I want to the clients? Guys, this is outrageous. I just can't even believe the comments on this video. Next up, Joan says, this was an awful haircut. He was sculpted. poor kid. Then our girl Rita comes back. Joan, scalped? Yes, I was expecting his scalp to start bleeding. That was the most awful haircut I've ever seen. Man, Rita has it out for me. Angela says, this young man only needed his hair trimmed back into the haircut he had. How does she know the haircut that he had before? This barber stylist should never ever be allowed to cut hair. This haircut is a chopped up, shaved off, hacked up, jacked up, just a hot mess. This young man looks hideous with this ridiculous style. Poor dude. And again, guys, Rita has more to add. Angela, I agree. I think the style is wrong. Too bizarre, high maintenance, and mature for this young boy. And the cut was done really badly, and it was just a terrible, terrible cut. Worst cut process and end result I've ever seen. I'm not really sure Rita has seen many haircuts before, but unfortunately this is the worst that she's ever seen. I'm starting to think that I know who Rita is, and maybe you guys will remember who I'm talking about. Damn it, Brainiac. Let's get the lead out. Yes, my queen. Right away. <laughs> That's what I like about her. She's a real people person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last but not least, guys, this is my favorite comment. Tim says, this kid had the most beautiful hair, nothing natural about this haircut, a total train wreck. I've watched a number of these videos just to convince myself that what I'm seeing is just a bad dream. And it's all the same, cut right through the natural hairline and shave it down to the bone. Have done hair 42 years. I have never seen such a total disregard for somebody's hair, just a shame what they did to that kid. Who's ever training these people to do that technique needs to quit doing that. Use the adapters for the clippers. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And work it down instead of taking it down to the bone and then blending it up into something that they're never going to do themselves. Oh man, guys, I just think this is absolute nonsense. I had so much fun reading through these comments. Like I said, a year ago, I might've got my feelings hurt. Obviously, most of these people don't have a clue, and I think it's just absolutely funny, the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed laughing at these comments with me. If I ever get another video like this, I will do this again, because it is absolutely funny to me what people will go out of their way to put on these videos. And what's funny is literally one or two comments on the whole video, 850,000 views, and there was two positive comments. So I don't know what's going on with these people. I think they're having a rough time right now. I hope it gets better for them in the future. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Stay tuned. I got lots of content planned for you guys and I'll catch you next time.